This is the uh, in-game review of the SSG 96 Nodridge, came out a week ago. So, something that I don't like about it is, it sounds like your average $100 G96 or L96. It has a plastic ring. Listen, it sounds awful. The bolt push is really hard. I had to put a shit ton of oil on it to get it to go somewhere. However, the range, it is also very, very windy. It's like 20 mile an hour winds. The range is incredible. So it chronoed at the DMR range, uh, even though I ordered the 2.8 joule, so I might have gotten the 2.21 on accident. Uh, whether I ordered it or he ordered it, we'll see when I get home. Regardless, two out of 10 on feel, 10 out of 10, nine out of 10 on performance, four out of five apple sauces on the gun overall. The build quality is incredible. This thing is a solid brick. But uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this thing. Compared to a fully upgraded SSG 24, which I will show you later. Oh, reach. Yeah, I'm on friggin' DMR. <laughs> Such a DMR. Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. Yeah! Not the truck. <laughs> I know, I know, that was awful. That was really embarrassing. Hey, look, a guy. Anyways, I just wanted to fire it off a couple rounds. So you can hear what that sounded like. I can listen to this thing. Oh, talking to my camera in my head like an idiot. Look, the out indicator actually worked. That's neat. Except for I still fired a shot, so I didn't pay that much attention to it. Maybe if you made it orange or something right there. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll paint a little red dot on there. The bolt is wearing in though. We can't go all low and slow. Right in the face. <laughs> that was a bit better. That was uh, some tough shooting though. So what I do kind of like about this is the uh, the flat blade the flat blade trigger. Yeah. My finger sits way down here. I'm used to sitting in more in the nook. So he also has an SSG 96 and apparently his paint job came out a little bit shittier the uh, paint is gunking it up so it wouldn't screw on all the way so if anybody has this just unscrew it screw it back on unscrew it screw it back on and it'll be able to go all the way down just like that all right here's what I think of the G96 I ran it for half of the day when I first got it the bolt pull was extremely tough I put a little oil on it and it helped lube it up a bit, but the CNC receiver makes it really, really tight. And there's only one guide ring. For the money, it is probably the best L96 that you can probably buy for $350 stock. Normally you'd swap the bucking barrel and all that good jazz to make it better. Things I don't like, like I said, the single guide ring, there should have been two in there. 
Some of the other features that they added to this platform, such as the empty mag indicator, are a neat feature, but you have to know to look for it. They could have put a white or an orange dot on the back side of that to indicate that this was empty. One of the other things I don't like about the gun is that the rattle plastic springy noise that you hear coming from the front end of the gun it sounds cheap it sounds like a 90 dollar awm springer now from a 350 dollar novridge gun we generally expect higher quality this last bit of advice is for any new snipers or someone to looking to purchase the ssg 96 i would spend the money on the 300 dollar SSG 10 A1. You're going to get the same internals, but you're not going to have a stiff upper receiver. You're not going to have the fire indicator, but you will have a lighter platform that's easier to manipulate and it will sound a lot more solid. The plastic ring in here really left a bad taste in my mouth. And for having an aluminum receiver, you can really eliminate any quality issues, a little extra parts.